Well, there's QB controversy in Philadelphia, and we knew it was going to happen. We obviously knew it was going to happen. Um, the way Wentz has been playing has been just, it's unforgettable. And you can't, you got to hold this guy accountable. This should have happened weeks ago, okay? And this isn't because I think Jalen Hurts is a god at football. This is because the guy needs a mental break, okay? The guy already needs a mental break from football as it is right now. Okay, too much pressure on him. The pressure has got to him. Okay, because if we didn't put Jalen Hurts in this game, probably would have only had three points in the first quarter, and that's it. The rest of the game probably would only score three. We needed a spark. We needed something. You know, issues were brewing. As soon as Carson Wentz got sacked twice, Pretty much, I saw him on the sideline. A couple photos were taken of him on the sideline, and I did see him. He was lifting his hand up. He was getting all mad. I mean, it's just to a point where, well, it's starting to, he's starting to break, and it's starting to show now, okay? Then there was another instance where Jalen Hurts was sitting next to Carson Wentz. They were talking. Jalen Hurts walked away. Even last game, when Hurts was throwing a football around, and Carson just turned his head and gave him the dirtiest look. Like, it's not good. It's not good between these two guys. Like, I think they're fine, but I think that, obviously, the rumors came out that Wentz was not happy about this quarterback pick. I mean, look, Love from Green Bay was drafted, and Aaron Rodgers took it as a challenge. Like, you want to draft a quarterback? All right, I'm going to show you what I got. And Carson just does the total opposite. The total opposite. And it just it, it really makes me furious. Now, Jalen Hurts comes in and, you know, he's talking with his players on the sideline. Carson Wentz is on the sideline, not talking to anybody. He's with, Jalen Hurts is with his teammates, with his wide receivers. Okay? Jalen Hurts comes in on 4th and 18, 4th and 19, throws a touchdown pass to Greg Ward. And you know what? Works in the pocket very well. There's probably one time during this game where Carson actually worked the pocket like the old Wentz. And it actually looked really good. But this is a mess. You know, now it's a mess. I think this is what we really wanted. Okay? Ian Rappaport already came by with news this morning, pretty much saying that Carson Wentz is not going to get let go, not going to be released. It's not going to happen, guys. And I already knew that was going to happen because of the money that's tied into him. If the Eagles release Carson Wentz, it would be $60 million over the cap, or $60 million in dead cap. We're already $60 million over the cap right now. So Carson Wentz could be the backup quarterback for this team. And obviously, it's not a good choice, but we have no choice right now because of the money we paid him. So paying him that money now screwed up a lot of things. The Eagles need to keep him at least through 2022. I thought maybe just next year, but maybe things can get worked out. But if Jalen Hurts is the guy or is the the next franchise quarterback for the Eagles I don't know at this point I'm not really sure and I'm glad that Jalen Hurts got drafted well, I'm just glad that he came this year in the draft because you know and he's got some time on his contract on his cheap contract because we couldn't really afford this I mean it would just be ridiculous right now so obviously Doug Pearson on the hot seat right now I haven't looked at the other news about Doug Pearson probably not great I I highly doubt it um no nobody was fired today obviously so i just see the brewing of carson wentz i just see the his play is getting worse and his attitude on the team is getting worse his his attitude towards the other players is getting worse always see him standing there by himself and then when jalen hurts gets his touchdown which sparks the whole entire team sparks the whole team I mean, it gave Jalen Rager a punt return. After 12 weeks, the Eagles put Jalen Rager a punt return. Like, thank God. And then all of a sudden, the whole team seems like they're more upbeat. They kicked the ball off. They tackled the guy at the 15. I was like, it seemed like it just brought an oomph to to this whole entire team. But when Carson's playing, everyone's dragging. Everybody's... You know, they just don't care. That you know, I, that's what I see when Carson's on the field. That's how I see what I see from the whole team. Okay, there was obviously leadership uh, talks this week throughout practice, and Carson has said to the team he's been playing horrible. 
but not really being straightforward with the media about it. Carson just got to get benched. I'm not a Carson Wentz hater. I'm not, I don't need to explain myself anymore. I think I've pretty much, I've said since week one, something's wrong with Carson Wentz, and now he gets benched and people are, you know, I hate those people that are pretty much like, Wentz is my quarterback no matter what. And then, and then it's like, okay, well, and, and, I, and I'm, you know, it's like, because he's your quarterback, because what, because you're positive, because you can't say anything bad about him. It's like, ha- it's like having a best friend that you never tell him the truth. If he does something wrong, it's like, it's just so like, not real to me. I don't know. It's so not real to me. I don't care. What does my quarterback? I don't care what anybody says. I can't stand when people say that. It's just so annoying. So soft and like, it's like okay, so what? That mean that means a guy can never do wrong. That means well, you want that means you don't want to win a championship. That means you'll keep a guy in there that keeps throwing the ball like that, and that's fine. But I figured, you know, I know Carson Wentz going to be on the roster next year. It is what it is. But for the Saints game next week, we're going to find out. I got a feeling Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts has got and, and before last week, I was like, ah, you know what? Just put him in for a game. Jalen Hurts needs to start. <laughs> The rest of the season. Period. Okay. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Jalen Hurts has to start the rest of the season. It's time. It's time to start him. And we need to see what this kid could do because you can't, you already have a quarterback playing bad. You can't keep playing Carson Wentz. You just can't. So Hurts needs to have a period where I want to see him where. He's had a full week of practice with the first team guys. I want to see him with the first team guys and just get some reps, get hot, and get used to being on the field because he hasn't. He's never. This is the first game where he was in for three series and especially two consecutive ones, three consecutive ones. I mean, it's been a long time since he's done that, and you know, it's since college. So the guy needs more work. Do I think he's you know me- mechanics are perfect with him? No, of course not, but. I, I'm expecting that. I'm expecting that. I'm not expecting him to be bad. I'm not expecting him to be great. I was expecting Carson Wentz to put himself in this position. And guess what? He did. So that's pretty much about it, guys. I'm going to try to do the reaction 94 WIP probably later, a little bit later today. I'll put a post up. I know I was supposed to do it this morning, but um, I've been sick. I don't really feel too well. So, um, all right, guys. Well, this is going to be crazy. So, we're going to find out. Got a feeling he will start next week. I'm hoping it'd be the smart move. But other than that, guys, that's about it. Kicks going up. Flowers fly. Peace out, guys. Peace.